Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn how to integrate PayPal into your Node.js application. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that I have done one of the payment and you can see that the payment got executed and there is a statement that approved, okay, intent sale and the transaction records history. Okay, so all of the data is coming over here. There is a payment is successfully done. So let's see how we are going to do with the on the code level. So let's get started. So here we have a first of all, we go with the app.js file. Okay, so here this is the app.js which one you have to require that is npm packages that is express http path fs body parser cookie parser method override express session error handler okay so here we have the config json file where we have all the details like client secret and the client uh, id and the port and the pay sandbox account also payment sand url also so like api dot, i will show you give me a second so here we have the config json file config json so here we have you can see that the host port client id and the client secret okay so here you can you have to configure this one now moving to the next app.js file okay after this one then we have a config json.parse to string okay then we are going to put all the details from here routes.init config okay then we have to define the port which port on my serv server is running then we have a views which view i'm going to set I'm setting that the Jade, you can set it to the EGS or any other uh, engines, search view engines, but you can also go with the HTML also. Okay, there's no requirement that you can configure the uh, view engine, this one, Jade or something EGS. You can go with the HTML directly also. You can also integrate that one. Then we are using the body parser URL encoded. Why we are using this? Because we have the form which we accept for the USD one like this one. Give me a second. I will show you. This is the form. So that's the reason we are using the URL encode. Okay. Then body parser.json method override cookie parser then using the session. So starting with this one, this is the important. Then first when we hit this one slash, so it will open this one. Okay, so we index.js, render index. So where we have the index view, this is the index view, where we have a create new payment account. Uh, this one, the method is PayPal, amount, currency, description, and the text. So here you can see that. Okay, after this, it will go to the create route, right? If I go to the app.js, then we have a create route. Go to this one. Here we have the function, that create method. It will create that uh, payment id you can see that create this is the full method we'll call and here we have a return url and the cancel url okay then we have a payment dot create method to create that one if there is any error show error otherwise it will go and forward the create options okay so you can see that it will go to the render the create blade so here we have a create blade so here we have a payment method if paypal then we are generate go redirect the url so in on that one we are passing the button Okay, so it will show you all the details of that one, how much payment uh, it, it has been going on and the redirect URL, all kind of URL it's going to show you. I will show you what exactly it's showing us. Okay, so this is the create file. Then we have uh, another that is the execute method. So here we can see that we have to execute the method whether the payment is success or not. So it will go with this one. If something went wrong with the cancel, it will go to the cancel and render the cancel option. So why there is an issue with the cancel? It will just show you the details. Payment got canceled. Why? It will show you that one. Okay. So let's have a look that uh, how the how it's working at the front end level. So go and check this one. So here we have amount one. Then we have a USD. Then create payment. Then we have this is you can see that the payment ID we get intent sale created. Okay, the USD amount, all of the data and the links that we have to redirect, everything is getting over here, right? Then redirect this one. It will go to the PayPal. Okay, you have to enter your credentials. After entering the credentials, go to the Visa and any of them you can select. Okay, this is sandbox accounts, right? Continue under the review the order. Okay, and you can see that the payment got success executed. If I go and check my sandbox account, so here we have the sandbox account, right? So go to the home, 
then go to the any logs any issues then we go with the api calls so here you can see that all the status is going to be a 200 200 this is going to be the permanent this we post api it's going to be this one debug id this one you can see that the payment issue on any of them no issue resource id is this one okay and here we have the payer id and the response okay so everything is going that the payment is done okay any error message is going over here right so this is how we are able to integrate the payment paypal into your node.js application right very easy very simple any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day